Welcome back everyone. I'm Monica Baysmore and we are working on a bedroom makeover. Now, we're not gonna see the finished product today. This ain't HGTV. I don't have a weekend to accomplish this project along with numerous other people to help me get it done. But my goal is to get it done and to get it done sooner than later. So please stay tuned, subscribe if you are into DIY, makeover, decorating, all of that fun stuff. All right, so today the big project is to begin the decluttering process or the tidying process. And the very first thing we're gonna get started with is clothing. So I'm gonna be taking the clothing out of the closet as well as the drawers that are in the closet and then the drawers that are in the dresser that we have in our room because we will be getting a couple of new dressers for this space. And then I would really like to also kind of change the closet around. It's a teeny weeny closet, but I wanna change it around to best fit everything we have and maybe even squeeze a few other things in there too if we can. So we're gonna grab all those clothes, bring them out here to the living room and go through each piece. We're gonna be donating items, we're gonna be possibly throwing some items away and then everything else we're going to just make sure we're beginning to group and then fold it and then be putting it back. All right, let's get started. I was just somebody Longing for someone to hold me it could be anybody somebody just woke up from her nap <laughs> so we are going to have some milk right and some lunch and then let's get back to the time lapse even done yet and wow I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see this massive pile and this is not everything I still need to get the stuff that's out of the drawers in the dresser and then there's a few more little drawers in the closet I'm also gonna show you the closet I think I kind of forgot to get a before shot <laughs> of everything in there but I do want you guys to see the size of what I'm working with and just how much of a challenge this really is, but I am ready. I'm ready to get rid of stuff. This is something that I recommend everyone doing at least once a year, if not more often, but definitely at least once a year. And the end of this year, 2021, there's no better time to do it. It's raining and storming outside, so it's perfect day to just dishevel your entire house and throw things away because that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Here's the giant pile I was talking about. So it's literally taking up the entire couch and then I'm gonna be putting stuff right here on the floor. All right, let's go get the rest of the stuff and then we will attack the pile. Me a whole lot better. mountain of clothing all from the closet and the dresser drawers and all those little drawers that were in the closet so this bag here was from the storage unit and we put all of our winter sweaters in there last year when winter was finished so we have recently gotten that out because I wanted to wear my sweaters again <laughs> but you know it's just so funny with clothes I started to go through here and I'm like wow I don't even really like a lot of these anymore. And then we've got some of David's stuff in here too. Um, so he kind of needs to go through that as well. But yeah, that's the thing with clothing. I just feel like uh, it's just one of those things that you acquire so much, at least in my case, because I do love clothes. 
Um, but then when you do this, you really do get just such a nice look at everything that you have and everything that you don't even actually wear and that maybe someone else would really love or that you just need to get out of your house because it is, it is taking up space and it's taking up head space as well when you're stressed out because you have nowhere to put your clothes or it's just looking like your closet stuff full of things and Anyway, I'm going on and on, but I really could about this topic. I love to clean out, organize, and then right now, get rid of stuff. So let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, just follow the trail of shoes to the closet. <laughs> All right, so I've made a huge mess. And as you can see, there's shoes everywhere. And as you can see, I mean, if I step back, can you even really tell how small this space is? So we're working with a small space, but it does have some nice height. And I would love to utilize this much more than it's currently being utilized. So that's got to change as well as maybe some of the things that are just hanging over here. So these are all accessories that I've left, as well as the shoes, as well as just some of this other stuff that was in here. But I've cleaned out each of these, and then there's some shoes in here, and then there's purses in there. But each of these housed my t-shirts, which I am a big lover of. I love t-shirts. They're just comfortable, but also, too, I just love getting t-shirts with cool art on them or things like that. Anyway, <laughs> that was a big clutter. I kept a lot of my nightgowns or pajamas in there, so I'm not going to go through all of that. They're empty, as well as each of the drawers in the dresser here, with the exception of this top one because it's got my undergarments in it, and I did just recently go through that, but otherwise these are all empty and out in the living room. So let's go take a look at that pile. <laughs> exciting progress <laughs> everything on the couch is in different piles so we have our keep pile things that I'm gonna need to organize back into the closet we have our ooh, hold on keep but that's t-shirts so just that back row or t-shirts and then the front here we have a couple of beanies um, gosh what else is over there now that I'm looking at it I think a couple of sweaters that I was unsure about. So that was kind of my unsure pile as well. Oh, Miguel. Um, and then actually underneath this pile, I have things that I'm gonna be giving away to my sisters if they want them. As you can see, there's a lot to do still. I've got this wonderful pile here to go through. These are the things that were in the dresser drawers. And then we have our bag from the storage unit. So my goal is to really chip through a lot of this and you know get rid of a bunch of it because I'm really thinking a great deal of this bag I can go ahead and get rid of and then over here we have our donate pile going so it's getting kind of high it's getting kind of stacked there and all of these items I'm saying bye bye to and then right here I've got some sentimental things so I'm leaving those for last so I can make a good decision this is um a Halloween costume but I just really like it I like the robe um, and plus it was a lot of money so I'm really not sure what to do with that pretty sure I'm gonna keep this is actually a really sparkly dress so it's in this bag and then underneath <laughs> there's Aurora now um, and then underneath is my wedding dress as well as a bridesmaids dress so these are things I may keep uh, or I know I'm gonna keep but I may not keep them in the house is what I'm trying to say I may take those to the storage unit and get a nice organizer going in there but yeah let's go ahead and defeat this pile Hi, 
pile attacked and much accomplished. It may not look like much. I mean, come on. It looks like a lot to me, but <laughs> you guys can be the judge of that. But we've got piles. Each pile has a meaning. We've got some keeps. We've got a lot to give away. And then this is keeps too. So this goes in the, back into the drawers and just better organization. And then <laughs> my baby's right here by me. Um, and then we've got our donates and figure out what to do with. So really that just involves me grabbing some bags so that way we can get a lot of this taken to Goodwill today. Maybe even some of those little drop-offs, um, you know, those little clothing drop-off bins that I see. Shoes as well. So I did not put shoes out here. Those are all in the closet still, as you guys could see, trailing out of it. So I do need to move on to those next. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let's see. It is 3 o'clock and I started this around 1. So let's finish this up. Here we have it, folks. <laughs> Almost four bags full of items to donate. And I did put some shoes in here. So I need my husband to go through his shoes and see if there's maybe a couple pairs. Hey, baby. See if there's maybe a couple pairs that he wants to get rid of too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go head out, donate this stuff. I may go pick up a dresser that I liked. We'll see. Um, and then let's see, that's about it. So this took a long time. It's now 3.30 and I still have to clean up my mess. There's baby's little legs. <laughs> I gotta clean up my mess, put some items back, but I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm gonna, um, until I go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, something like that. I wanna get some things to um, organize the shoes. So there's me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. We're going to continue to organize, put all this stuff away, and then also collect some items for the room so that way we can transform the space. So again, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this content because I would love to make more for you. And that's all I've got to say. Until next week, bye!